So why'd you leave Boston? I've been on quite the adventure, little brother. I reckon it's got something to do with that girl. It's got everything to do with that little girl. You know, I've never been this close. It's the outside. So is that everything you hoped for? Can't be any worse out there. Can it? Once upon a time, I had somebody that I cared about. And in this world, that's good for one thing. Get you killed. I can take care of myself. How many close calls have we had? I get into trouble down there. You make every shot count. I got this. Hope you know how to use that thing. I've had some practice. The Last of Us is a Naughty Dog game that was released in 2013. It's a survival horror game where we met our protagonist Joel and Ellie, and they went through one of the most impactful stories in gaming history to this day. To this day! This game changed the scene. It changed the gaming scene forever. The rendering, the, the story, the characters, it all was beyond anything that we as the audience could imagine. And now we get an HBO show and a remake of part one. I'm gonna be completely honest, this is one of my favorite games to this very day that I absolutely enjoy replaying the hell out of. I love Ellie, I love Joel, I'm not a big fan of part two, but I will live with it. Especially if we get more scenes with Abby in the first one, since it is a remake. I'm wondering how much of the story itself will be changing, or if it'll be changing at all, and this is just a remodel into the PS5 system. I am over the moon. We get a series with Pedro Pascal and Bella, Bella, Bella Ramsey. It'll be... From September forward, it is such a Last of Us centered moment until the, the show comes out and the game will get new audiences for the part one and the HBO show so I, I I'm excited to see a new fandom come in and join us with the show with part one because it's essentially a rebirth a revitalization we're giving new life to the to this game that it, it entirely deserves it with the show and with the game it'll be please also for anyone who is watching this don't spoil it for everyone who will be i i believe it will be so much more impactful if people get to experience sarah scene on their own if they haven't had previous engagement with the games because it is such a it is such a precious scene that really sets up the groundwork for what this game is and i wish that as a community as a whole maybe maybe don't spoil it for everybody who's coming in now. that's just me though and that's why i think it would be so cool to see more of abby in part one but who knows who knows what they're actually going to change beyond Game mechanics, renderings, models. It is such a gorgeous game and Naughty Dog has done nothing but make this game so so much more enticing to the general audience. This game is, again, one of my favorites. I you will never hear a bad praise from me. I am entirely biased and I will be probably purchasing part one. Though there's going to be a digital bundle and 
and a collector collector's edition as well as i'm pretty sure i don't know if there is a firefly edition or if there will be a firefly edition um, i know that there will be a special edition release of this game not entirely sure what that entails but my wallet is going to be broke from september forward when this game comes out as far as this channel goes I have just finished recording part one, <laughs> The Last of Us 1, and part two, along with Left Behind. So that'll be dropping at some point. I wanted to do something cool with it, so please look forward to that. It, I won't, I'll be rearranging some things, kind of, I have an idea, and I hope you enjoy it. More in the future, I don't want to spoil anything. I don't think I've seen it done. I just could be on the wrong side of YouTube, but I'm planning on doing something um, that I'm kind of passionate about. So, look, um, I'll, I'll keep everyone updated on where I'm at. As far as editing goes, I believe I'll be starting that soon. And. It, it might not be right after Plague Tale Innocence, but it'll be sometime soon. Um, I don't actually know what's going to follow Plague Tale Innocence. But in regards to The Last of Us, that's all recorded and we'll, we'll see. I, I wanted to do, I, again, something special and I'm working on that. I'll, I don't want to spoil anything, so we'll, we'll, we'll leave that. Just keep an eye open. I don't, as far as the HBO show, I don't think Pedro and Bella have said anything. We haven't really gotten much other than stills. But, you know, it's Pedro Pascal, the Mandalorian, and we got Bella from Game of Thrones. I'm sure they are going to kill their roles as Joel and Ellie. As well as we got Neil working on as a producer, I believe. He's there, and Ashley Johnson and Troy Baker will be there. So, a lot of things to look forward to. Naughty Dog has been with me since my childhood, so everything Naughty Dog does, precious. I love it, adore it, will be there. And hopefully, you'll be there with me on the way. So, anyway, just wanted to update that. This is one of the stills that was released to the public with Bella and Pedro. There is an airplane in the background, which is wreckage. I This would be outside of city limits. I'm not entirely sure where this will be taking place, but I look forward to that. And we also have this beautiful still in the museum with Pedro and Bella and a clicker and a runner in the background, which made me think about how they're going to have to do the gym bloater scene and i'm not entirely I, i'm excited but i'm not entirely sure how sports and everything is gonna work i, I just i'm trying to imagine it and i'm having a hard time other than then picturing the video game and if it's pulled straight from the video game it's gonna be one of my most favorite scenes, the bloater scene. I don't remember the Rat King. I have to look at my footage again. I'm, I'm just, look, I'm just super excited and hyped for this, and can't wait for the release to actually come. So, thank you for joining me in geeking out. This past, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you later. Doodles.